Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've chosen a simple one, I guess. Not to say very simple, lah, but different from what I usually do to my face. Or my makeup is usually very brown. Or if lipstick, just red. And recently I do the goth look, right? So this time, I'm gonna do this look. So basically, the special thing is the green uh, eyeliner at the bottom, which I happen to have a uh, green eyeliner. It's an old product though. I have it for a while already. So finally, I get to play with it. Okay, as usual, I'm uh, gonna use fake primer, which is my moisturizer. Lah. It's winter now here in uh, Not Shop, so my skin is very dry. As you can see, um, my this part is getting a bit like red-ish, pinkish or whatever. On to foundation, my favorite Ilianto. Have you guys seen my previous video or not? I've talked about this product and how I hacked it. So I'm gonna hack it again with my Theology white tea thingy. I'm not going out today, so this foundation is okay. A lot of the Westerners uh, YouTubers, the beauty gurus, they actually put on very thick foundation. I don't know if you guys realize or not. But good thing is they don't look cakey, even though they put a lot, which is impressive. Lah. But personally, I just don't like it because how would your skin breathe with such thick foundation? Okay, the foundation is done, but I'm not really happy with my skin condition. It's been very dry and it reflects when I put on foundation. I mean, it's showing really bad. My skin is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna pat some face powder uh, onto my under eye area. It's a perfecting smoothing powder from Sisley. The beauty gurus always do under their eye lah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Will, will it smooth out my really bad skin? Nope. Nope, nope. Nothing happened pun. <laughs> Okay, like maybe I should spray some mist to make my face a bit moist. I don't know. Okay. Ma! Now ni kena. So she used very orangey brown to do the base. I have a lot of browns here, but I don't have orangey brown. Bantai je lah. Okay. It's all the way up though. Okay, and then she will use a darker shade for the tepi, the side. Luckily, I have darker shade. Go, go that one. Hmm. And then she used a very dark brown pencil to do the eye line. But honestly, I don't think it will do anything to me because I have monolith. But I just do anyway. And then she used black pencil to draw on top of the dark brown. For me, I just need to use the other end of my Urban Decay eye pencil. Then why you want to draw the brown one in the first place? I'm just double checking because so far, it looks nothing like hers. Okay, it's okay Jean, calm down. Maybe later you look like her. Do the eyelash first. Okay. Actually, this looks like my normal makeup only. I normally do this kind of makeup, what? 
basically what I'm doing right now is just adding green color on the bottom eye line I kind of like it it's just it's not very green nah. I mean if according to that one she's using like a very very green shade not bad right I'm gonna try to use brushes to blend the edges and then near to the eye corner she actually used something bright this not dramatic enough for the sake of drama I'm gonna use this Dior Dior Gold Eye Palette to enhance the look ha added drama so I'm gonna do my contouring and my eyebrows and be right back hi guys I'm back okay so one thing left the lips I was thinking right the eye is quite heavy la, like dark we should put something bright on the lips but not to say color bright like bold colors I mean colors like coral it looks brighter but at the same time it's kind of like closer to the nude family I have two coral color lipstick here I'm gonna try with Dior one first this one not bad right I like it all I'm gonna try this lip cream from the face shop as well and see which one is better okay so it's actually a tint this one gives more color I think I'm gonna stick with this one okay I'm done I kind of like it I think I will do it more in future and perhaps um, to play around with more colors rather than just this green so uh, it's perfect for uh, what I am wearing now uh, so I have a bit of this um, greenish on my top so um, it complements with the eyeshadow it's not eyeshadow under eye line the green under eye line that I have right now so hey the conclusion is basically it works as well for monolids this look so um, I guess now we have a new thing to play around which is um, under eye line in future I want to do like pink pop pink or um, baby blue or even gold purple would be nice too so yeah so I'm hungry right now I'm off to do my cooking show with this look so I'll see you at my cooking show bye